guys, today we're going to be doing a declutter that I have been putting off for so long and I'm thinking I want to start with my pinks and purples. This is like the category that I have probably the most lipsticks in. These are the kind of colors that I really enjoy wearing and I'm going to do another category with like my nudes and reds and oranges and like other colors but these are mainly going to be my pinks and purples unless I've somehow thrown other things in here that shouldn't be in here. That definitely could be the case but I'm just going to go through these and I figure we have about the same amount of lipstick in this pile as the other pile. I'm also going to do glosses separately. So as you can see, I just have way too many lip products, you guys. I have a problem. I definitely don't wear all of these enough. And so I'm going to be pretty ruthless with these. I want to try to get rid of as many of these as possible. So I'm just going to start off with this one. This is the Maybelline Matte Ink Lipsticks. I used to really like these, but they do get kind of thick kind of quickly. And so I just want to see like how they are. This one looks to be, I don't want to swatch them all because I just don't have room on my hand, but this one seems to be kind of thick right now and a little bit dried out. And I don't really have a color like this in anything else. So that's kind of the problem. Actually, I think I do have a similar color to this. I am going to let this one go and we're going to see if I'm going to let this one go as well. No, this one seems to be a lot more just thinner in formula, which means that it's probably going to be good. So I'm going to put that on this side. I'm just going to grab kind of, you know, I'm going to try to be pretty quick with these because I don't want to sit here all day. This one is definitely getting a little bit on the thick side as well. And I don't really wear a color like this this often. And I just have a lot of colors, you know, in this kind of same very bright pink range. So I am going to declutter this one as well. Next up we have one of the Lime Crime plushies. I don't love these, but I think the color of this is really nice. And it's also one of those formulas that can go on very sheer. And I like to put this underneath the gloss so that the gloss doesn't feel too thick, but I still get a little bit of coverage just on my lips. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Next up I have a lipstick here from Ofra. This looks to be very old. So I think I am going to get rid of this. Again, this looks to be pretty thick. I'm pretty sure I got this from someone to try out. So if this was from a friend, who knows how long she has had that. So that's going in the declutter pile. This is one from Kat Von D that I absolutely love. This is not going anywhere. This ABH lipstick is not one that I reach for at all. I don't really like this formula at all. And this one is just very, very thick. I don't know. The color is beautiful, but I don't really like these very light, bright pinks on myself. I don't find them to be very flattering. So I'm going to go ahead and clutter this one, but I do think I'm going to keep this ABH one. This is probably the only ABH lipstick that I am going to keep. Just because I really love this color, I don't think I have a duplicate of this. If I do have a duplicate of this or something that's very, very similar, or a dupe, I should say, not a duplicate, but if I can find something that is pretty much exactly the same color as this in my collection. I'm going to declutter this. So I'm going to put this in a bit of a maybe pile right here. Next up, we have a lipstick from Dior. I used to be obsessed with these and I bought this one thinking it would be as good as the other ones that I have. And it's just not like this just doesn't go on very smoothly at all. And it's just, I don't know, there's something about this formula here that just don't like my lips at all. So I think I am going to go ahead and declutter this even though this was so expensive. It's really hard for me to let go of expensive lipsticks and I'm sure you'll see this in this declutter, but this one I want to say was like 30 something dollars. And so maybe I'll keep this for another round because it does seem like it's, you know, still good. I don't want to let go stuff just to let go of it when I think that there might be a chance that I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to keep this around for another round. I know I said I was going to be ruthless, but for something that's this expensive, I want to just like give it a fair chance, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Sorry if the angle changed a little bit. I had to switch out my battery. And when I do that, when I have the camera on this tripod, which is not the one I normally use, I have to like take the whole camera off of the tripod and switch the angle and then take the battery out and put it back in. So whole deal. Anyway, let's move on. So I don't know why I put this Wet n Wild gloss in here, but I guess we will just go through it. I'm going to keep this. I was going to put all of the glosses in the gloss category, but I guess since we're here, this is one of the High Shine Wet n Wild glosses. I absolutely love this, definitely keeping it. So here is a lipstick that I got from Bessie Johnson. This was sent to me in PR. And I, I don't think that these are amazing, but I also don't think that they're like bad, but they're just, I don't know. They're very much like in the middle. They are very much on the drying side. They're not my favorite formula. I really do like the colors on these. So I don't know. These are very tough for me because I don't 
love them and they're also some of like the cheaper lipsticks that I have in my collection and I would feel really bad if I were to keep these and use these over something that's like a little bit more expensive that I paid for myself that I feel like I want to get my money's worth out of. So for that reason I think I am going to declutter my Betsy Johnson lipsticks even though I don't think that they're bad at all. I just I just don't see myself reaching for these over something else that I like that has a formula that is better if that makes sense. So I'm going to pull out all of the Betsy Johnson lipsticks that I have in here. So I think that was it in this color range. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all three of these, even though, like I said, I really like the colors of these. They're just not my favorite formula. They don't wear the best on me. So I am going to unfortunately get rid of these, which kind of sucks because I do kind of like them, but just not enough to keep them. And I think that's going to be the theme with a lot of these is that I don't like to get rid of things that I can still kind of use that I don't hate, but they're just taking up so much space at this point that I need to just get rid of something. So here is a Sayate Glitter Flip Holographic. I don't know what the hell this is. I think I bought this as like a Christmas set and I didn't like these at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I don't even know if there's like glitter stuff in this. Oh, so it is a glitter flip. Okay, so yeah, no, I don't like this. I don't like the formula. I think it's really drying. I think that it's really uncomfortable. This is definitely gonna go in the no pile. Uh, here is a lipstick that I got from Estee Lauder at the outlet here in Vegas and I really like this. I think this is a beautiful formula. This is honestly not available anymore, which really sucks. And this doesn't like dry down completely. It's almost like a semi-matte. Like I want to say it dries down like 80% and it's like fairly long lasting and I really, really like this. I like the color of this. I like everything about this lipstick. Here's another Dior one. I'm definitely going to keep this. I wasn't sure if maybe I wanted to put this in with like the uh, red lipsticks and stuff, but this is a metallic lipstick and it's very dark. It's kind of like brown. I feel like this would have been better in the other category, but I really like this. And I definitely need to start using these Dior lipsticks more, but I just have so many things that I never reach for these for some reason. So I'm definitely going to keep that. Here's a sugar pill lipstick. This is in the shade Cubby and I don't love the formula of this, but I love the color. So I want to see if this is at all similar to the ABH one and it's definitely not, but this is such a unique shade in my collection. I do want to quickly mention that I'm not going through any of my Jeffree Star lipsticks in these declutters because I'm keeping all of them because I just really like them and I love being able to use them as eyeliner. So for that reason, I'm never going to get rid of any of my uh, Jeffree Star lipsticks unless they go bad. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the Sugar Pill one. Here's another one from Sugar Pill. I think this is a gloss that I just bought. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep that. I don't know why I keep putting the glosses in the lipstick category, but here we are. It's not my favorite formula. I've only used it once. I don't love it. It's a little bit too thick for my liking, but definitely going to keep this still. Just give it another chance or two and see if I really want to keep it. Here is Cotton Candy by Melt. This is a bullet lipstick. I think this is so beautiful. I love the formula of the Melt lipsticks. Oh, I think that is just so pretty. Here's a very bright lipstick from Colored Rain that I absolutely love. I've actually been really liking this formula. This is a bit of a thicker formula than I would usually go for, but I find that it wears extremely well. And so for that reason, I'm going to keep all of my Melt lipsticks. I don't know how many I have in here, but if I can find some other ones, here is one. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that the other Melt ones that I have, or Colored Rain, I mean. Did I say Melt this whole time? I meant Colored Rain. <laughs> Anyway, if I can find any more color rain lipsticks in the other category of colors, I'm going to keep those as well. But for now, these are going in my keep pile. Here's a metallic liquid lipstick from Juvia's Place. This is definitely not my favorite formula, but the color of this is just beautiful. Is this the metallic or is it the other one? No, I think this is metallic. So you can see it's kind of patchy and a little bit sheer. It's not my favorite, but if you layer it on top of the actual lipstick itself, I think it turns out to be a beautiful combination. Now the problem is I don't really ever wear this combination and I don't really wear this color on its own either, the uh, metallic that is. So I don't know if maybe I should declutter the metallic because I do have another purple metallic that I like more. So let me just go ahead and put this in a no pile for now because I wanna swatch this one. This is from the Sephora collection. This is also a metallic purple and I love the formula of this so much more than the Juvia's Place one. And I mean, they're not really similar. This is definitely more of the warm tone purple, but I think I'm just gonna keep this instead because 
how many metallic matte purple lipsticks do I really need? So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the matte lipstick from Dewey's Place and declutter the metallic one that I put on this pile and then I'm gonna keep the metallic lipstick from Sephora instead. Here's a lip tint or a lip stain or whatever you wanna call this from Givenchy. I got this uh, sent to me through Octoline. I did a review on this and I thought it was absolutely terrible. I cannot get this to look nice on my lips at all. I don't know if maybe I'm just doing this whole stain thing wrong. It looks really nice swatched out on my hand, but trying to apply this evenly to my lips and getting a very smooth layer, it was almost impossible. So I'm definitely going to declutter this. I did not like this at all. Here's a matte lipstick that I got from a brand called Joa. I didn't know of this brand until they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to receive some stuff in PR. And of course I said yes. So I actually just got this a few days ago. I have yet to actually put this on my mouth. So I just wanna go ahead and swatch this. I'm definitely gonna keep it because it's so new to my collection. That's a beautiful kind of mauve gray. I love that. That's a beautiful color. I'm excited to try this out. Definitely going to keep this. Oh, here's another one of the Bessie Johnson lipsticks. I'm going to declutter this. I feel like this should have been in the nudes pile instead, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna declutter the Bessie Johnson ones. Here is a Lime Prime lipstick. I love the color of this. I will say that these are not my favorite formulas. The mattes one from Lime Prime, I find them to be a little bit too drying on their own. I can wear them for like a couple of hours, but then I need to put a gloss on top, which isn't really a problem. And if I find a color that I like that's a little bit too drying, I'm still going to keep it because this is just a beautiful pink. Here's another one from Lime Prime. I'm also going to keep this. This is a kind of purpley. I'm not gonna swatch them all because I just don't have room for that. And I just realized that I put some of the other ones that I just said I was going to keep in my declutter pile. So I definitely wanna change that. I don't know what is wrong with me. I feel like my hand is just like going to a place and it doesn't know where it's going. And I think the piles are correct now, at least I hope so. Next up here is a lipstick that I got from OMFG Cosmetics. I bought this a while ago when I got their Fall Vibes palette. And I don't really remember how I feel about it, but I do really like this color. So maybe I will keep this and give it another chance because that's beautiful. Here's a lipstick from Koki that I don't really like the color of this that much. Maybe this one should have been in with the nudes as well. I don't know. I just don't love the formula of the Koki lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because I just know I'm not going to reach for it. Here's a lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. I made an order with them not that long ago. Maybe it was like a month and a half and I got a liquid lipstick and a bullet lipstick and both of the colors just didn't really work for me, which sucks because I really wanted to like try the brand and get a good feel for the uh, formulas and stuff. But this kind of color is just too like Barbie pink. It's a little bit too light on me and it just looks wrong. So I know I'm never going to use this. So I'm gonna declutter this, but not because I don't like the formula or anything, just because this color is just not a good color on me. So for that reason, I'm going to say goodbye to this, which really sucks because like I said, I do really want to test out this formula, but I also don't want to be wearing this lipstick for a whole day. So yeah, sorry about that. Here is a, what is this? This is an L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss. I don't know how something can really be a matte and a gloss at the same time, but again, this is like the same color as that lipstick that I just swatched. And this kind of color just does not work on me for some reason. It needs to have a little bit more warmth to it, I think it is. And maybe just a tad bit darker. There's just something about this very, very light, light Barbie pink that, I don't know, it just doesn't go well on my skin tone. Here's lipstick from Kat Von D. This is Mother. This is one of my all time favorite liquid lipsticks in my collection. Keep it that for sure. Another Cavendi lipstick, this is Lovesick, also keeping this. I actually have two of Mother because I accidentally bought two because I didn't realize I had this color already. So I'm going to keep those. And again, I put it in the wrong pile because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Here is a ultra blotted lip from Colourpop. I don't love the ultra blotted formula at all, but I love this color. Oh, I think this color is so pretty. And I'm so torn, but I think I'm going to declutter it because I just know I don't like the ultra blotted lipstick. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that. Here's a lipstick from Sorme that I absolutely love. This is probably the best lipstick formula that I think I've ever tried. So comfortable, so easy to apply, wears so well. I just, I'm so in love with this. I wanna get them all. So for sure going to keep this. Something else I'm keeping is my Menagerie Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Starfish. This is just such a unique shade. 
Yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. I think that is so beautiful. Next up, we have a ColourPop bullet lipstick. Um, I don't know why. Oh, this is a red. This shouldn't be in this pile. Anyway, I'm going to keep this. I don't have a lot of red bullet lipstick, so I don't really know how I feel about this one in particular, though. I haven't really worn it. I don't wear a lot of red bullet lipsticks. I usually tend to reach for a liquid if I'm wearing a red, but I'm going to keep this because I do like the ColourPop uh, lipstick formula, so I'm sure I would like this if I did wear it. Here's a metallic lipstick from Smashbox. I used to be really into these. I actually have another one in a different color as well. And this one seems to be in pretty decent condition still. I can tell it's like drying out a little bit, but not enough that I'm not going to keep this. Here's a ultra satin lipstick from ColourPop. I'm gonna keep this. This is in the shade Chance. This is a beautiful pink. Um, here we have a gloss from MAC. This should have been in the kind of reddish lipstick. This is like a metallic lipstick. I don't know why they call these a gloss, but they are definitely a metallic lipstick. Love these, not going to swatch it, but it smells so good. I wish you could smell this, but I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm gonna keep this one as well, which is in the same range. I feel like I have another one and another one. I'm gonna keep all of these. I absolutely love these. I'm so mad they discontinued them. And now I just want to keep them forever. Here's a new one that I have from ColourPop. This is the Just a Tint. This is definitely more of a pink than it looks in the pen itself. It's almost like a coral, but it's got more of a pink to it when you put it on the lips because of how sheer it is. I really like this. I think these are awesome. They're great for just like chucking in your purse if you want something very low maintenance that's not going to be a hassle to put on. So for sure keeping this. Now this is an ultra satin lip from ColourPop. It's in the shade First of All. I love this color so much. Oh, actually I thought this was the one that was kind of drying out on me, but it's not. So I'm going to keep this because I love this. Yeah, this is the one I'm going to get rid of. This is in the shade Darling. And this is just getting a little bit old and it's also just a little bit too dark for my liking. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm also going to get rid of this ABH lipstick. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I need this. This should have been in the nude pile, I think, but yeah, I just don't love the ABH formula, so I'm definitely going to get rid of that. And now I have like oil from something that's spilling out of my lipsticks and I have it all over myself. Not ideal, but we're going to just go ahead and plow through and keep going. Here's a lipstick from Bella Pierre. This is one of their matte lipsticks. I got this in a boxy term. It's okay. I don't absolutely love it. There's something about this that I just, I don't know. I just don't like it that much. It's a beautiful nude, should have been a nude pile. It's really hard to like sort things and make sure that, you know, you put it in the right category because the lines are just so blurred. But I did feel like this was more in like the pinky nude. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I never reach for it. This one, however, is from Stila. This is one of their minis and I really like the uh, Stila formula. And I think these are actually going to be very similar. No, this one is a little bit darker. Definitely gonna keep this. I'm also going to keep my Suva Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade The Unconscious. I love this. Again, something has definitely spilled out here. I'm gonna keep that. I'm also going to declutter this Koki lipstick, which is in the shade Sweet Talk. I just don't like this formula that much. Oh, I forgot I even had this. This is the Kat Von D Everlast, what are you called? Glimmer Veil in Lolita. I bought this when it came out. It was like, I don't remember when that was. It's like last year at some point and I really like this. I think this is so beautiful. I'm also going to keep my cashmere cream lipstick from BH Cosmetics. These remind me a little bit of the NYX matte or velvet matte, whatever the NYX uh, lip creams are called. This reminds me a little bit of that. So I'm definitely going to keep that. I'm also going to keep this melted matte from Too Faced in the shade Queen Bee. I knew I had the shade. I was talking to someone the other day about this shade and I said I thought I had it, but I wasn't sure, but I do have it and I'm going to keep it. Here's a matte velvet lipstick that I also got sent by Joa or Joa. I don't know how you say that. It's probably Joa. Jo? Joa? I think it's Joa. I'm going to keep this. I've used this a few times. I do think this is really, really nice. I wouldn't exactly say it's like a super matte lipstick. I don't know. I guess I just haven't worn it for long enough, but I do like this. I think the color of this is really nice. Still need to test it out properly. Here's a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. I'm gonna keep this. This is the Zoella and ColourPop collab. I think this is a beautiful kind of mauve nude on me, I guess you could say, or maybe it's more like a nude nude. Maybe this should, yeah, this should have been in the other pile as well. Oh well, I'm gonna keep this. 
I'm also going to keep this uh, ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is a matte. This is an O Snap. This is one of my favorite colors from ColourPop. I think this is beautiful. Here's also a lipstick that I got in a boxy charm. This is by IBY Beauty. I really like this, so I'm definitely going to keep it. I don't know why I'm opening it. I don't plan on swatching it because I just simply cannot swatch all of these lipsticks. Going to keep this. Also going to keep my Glimmer Veil. This is another one from Kat Von D. I don't know how old these are or if I'm supposed to be shaking these up because I have not used them in forever, but this is a beautiful purple metallic. Oh my god, I love the formula of these so much, but I just never feel like I have the right opportunity to wear these. So maybe in like the fall, like Halloween season or something, I don't know. I need to find a way to wear these because I just, I love these. Here's another one of these Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline. This is my favorite color out of the bunch. I just love this. Is this similar to the one that I have from Menagerie? Ooh, that is very similar, but I think I'm gonna keep both because I really like both of them. And so that's basically it. Now this on the other hand is a Glitter Magic Shimmer Something Shifting Lip Color by... Where are you from? I don't even know where you are from, but I bought this thinking it was a liquid eyeshadow online. I don't know how I thought that or why I thought that, but I hate this formula. It's so uncomfortable. It's so glittery. Oh, it's just everything I don't want a lipstick to be. So I'm easily going to get rid of this one. Here's a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick. It's from the designer. Wait, this is a gloss. Oh, I thought this was a lipstick. Oh, see, that makes me really excited because that is beautiful. I'm gonna put this in the gloss bin and I'll probably go through this again when I'm doing the gloss declutter, but for now I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to put it in with my glosses. All right, so here's the only lipstick that I have from Kat Von D, like actual bullet lipstick. And again, it's one of those pink colors that just do not look good on me. So I am going to declutter this. I just, I also don't really like the formula. Maybe it's just because of this color. This is the only color that I've tried in this formula and it just doesn't look very good on my lips. I don't know what it is. Maybe my lips just need to be exfoliated and yeah, who knows, but I don't like this. So I'm gonna declutter it. Here is a kind of gloss lipstick that I got from Paul and Joe. I got this through Octoly and I really like this. It's just got a beautiful, very soft pink tint to it and it's very shiny. So it's definitely more of a gloss, but it's got a bit more pigment than some of the gloss sticks do, but I like this. So I'm for sure going to keep this. And something else that I'm definitely keeping, this is from Anna Sue. I love these lipsticks. I just think that they are so beautiful love this tone of pink as well this one also has a bit of a sheen to it and i'm just so in love with these and i mean honestly i would keep it just for the packaging alone even if i didn't really like the color or the formula because these are just precious so i'm just so excited that i have these and i'm so grateful that they sent these to me and i just want to keep these in my collection just to look at forever and on top of that it's a great formula so that's always nice Here's another one of the Ciate glitter flips. I'm gonna get rid of these. I, I just don't like them. I bought a holiday set of these just to kind of try them out. I think the colors are really nice, but they're just not very comfortable to wear. This is one of the lipsticks that I got in the Color Drain mystery bag. I just, I why is this in here? This should be in with the reds. I'm going to declutter this just because I don't wear dark bullet lipsticks and I also don't wear a lot of dark reds. So I'm going to declutter this. I'll definitely find someone to give this to because this is super new and I've only worn it once. So I'm gonna find a better home for this. Here's a MAC lipstick. This is in the shade Flat Out Fabulous. I love this. Can you tell I have a thing for like these kind of pinky purples? Oh, I just think that they are so pretty. This is a matte and I really like how these wear. I think they're really comfortable as well. So speaking of a color that's like very similar to the one that I just swatched, this is from NARS. This is one of their, what are these called? Like glide on something? I don't really know. This is one of their matte lipsticks. It looks very, very liquidy, but it dries down so beautifully and it's just a gorgeous color. I guess this could have been in the reds, but oh well, I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm also going to keep this one from what is this? This is the Kylie lipstick. I feel like this one is going to be maybe similar to my ABH one. Let me try to swatch these next to each other. I will say that this formula is extremely drying. Where was the, oh my God, me trying to find a lipstick here on my hand. I want to say it was this one. Oh, wow. Those are almost identical. This one is a little bit darker than this one right here, but I mean, those are basically dupes or as close as I think I have on my hand here as dupes. So I'm for sure going to keep the Kylie one, even though 
I don't love the formula of this either, but I do like the formula of this a lot better than I like the ABH one. So I'm gonna declutter the ABH one and keep the Kylie one. And let's see, this is from Ofra. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I got this, did I get this in a box or something? I feel like I bought this on sale summer. And again, I'm like, why are you in this category? Hmm, I feel like I have a lipstick from Jeffree Star that is almost similar to that. And I don't really feel like I ever reach for a color like this. So I think I'm gonna declutter this. I feel like it's just kind of old too. I mean, it is in the old packaging, so I don't know how old this is. I'm pretty sure I got this on sale. It's in the shade Sunset Beach. I think I'm gonna declutter this because I just never reach for it. And here's a lipstick that I have from Urban Decay. I got this from a friend of mine and I don't know what it is about me and never ending up using lipsticks that I get from friends, but that's honestly like so beautiful. And yeah, I need to keep that. I need to actually use that. But for some reason, whenever I get something that someone else has used like a lipstick, I just never reach for it. Maybe it's because it's not mine and it hasn't been on my lips. It's been on someone else's lips. Maybe that freaks me out a little bit deep down. Don't really know, but I'm going to keep this because that is a beautiful color. Here's another one of my mini Stila lipsticks. I like these mini ones. I really like mini lipsticks in general. I feel like they always just take over my purse and it's all that's in my purse. Don't know if this was the right category for this, but I am going to keep this. What is this? This is in the shade Baki. Here is another one of my Stila lipsticks. I really like this. This is in the shade Aria. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. Yeah, I really like that too. I do think I'm going to declutter this one. This is from Flower Beauty. And I just wasn't really a fan of this color or the formula. Do I have anywhere that I can swatch this? Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I don't love that color. It's a little bit too like neon-y, pink, corally. I don't even know. I just, I don't like this. Here we have a Lippy Sticks from Colourpop. This is a red, I'm going to keep this. I really like the uh, Lippy Sticks from Colourpop. I'm also going to keep this one. It's in the shade New Rules. So I'm gonna keep both of these. And then lastly, we have two more to go here. I already know I'm gonna keep my Lorac Pro Lipstick because I like this. Here's another one of the Dior ones. This is the Metallic Pink. And I'm gonna keep that. I know I almost decluttered like the matte pink, but this formula right here is so stunning. These metallic lipsticks from Dior are just everything and I don't know why I don't wear them. I feel like I need to, I need to pull out something that I have like on my vanity where I put all of the lipsticks that I feel like I really want to use just so I can like see them because they just get buried in my drawers. So yeah, I'm going to keep this and then I'm gonna do a tally and see how many I ended up decluttering and how many I ended up keeping. So I'm not sure when my camera shut off. I hope you were able to see when I was counting these because I find it very satisfying to like hear people go like that for a long time. So I don't know about you, but I ended up keeping 53 lipsticks and I ended up decluttering 28. So I think that's a pretty good result. I'm very happy with that as of right now. So, you know, obviously new lip products are going to keep coming in and I'm gonna have to do this again and probably not that long, but I'm very happy to have at least started my declutter and I'm next going to go into my nude lipsticks. So yeah, I hope you are liking the declutters uh, because I, this is just needed. It's so overdue and there will definitely be more of these. So keep an eye out for them. I don't know when I will spread them in within my content, but it will probably come up like pretty quickly after each other. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the pinks and the purple lipsticks. And next time is probably going to be the nudes. So until then, I will pop some other declutters that I've done up on my screen if you wanna check those out. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.